long time no film. I haven't sat and filmed in over a month. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia, and as you can see, I'm very much so alive. Um, right, this video, be, I'm just gonna put explain before the video actually starts, and then I'll rejoin you after. But, um, this video I filmed while I was in hospital last week. I went in cleaning because my blood sugars were high. I ended up getting admitted because they thought I had a kidney stone and because my blood sugar was high. So uh, roll the clips. So I got admitted to hospital. And today I want to talk a bit about what happened and why I was there. So I got admitted for two main reasons. The first one being my blood sugar was dangerously high it was 37 37 mol which is high it's, it's very high it's dangerously high they su suspected that i was in dka and if you don't know what that is i will make sure it is on screen right now for you and the other reason was because they thought i had a kidney stone or gall stone so proceed because i've seen a few comments lying around the internet that I'm still drinking high sugar, everything, I'm eating crap. Tell it to my water bottle. <laughs> the amount of times I've dropped this and it's exploded everywhere in supermarkets is unbelievable. Um, me and my trusty water. I went to A&E because I was feeling unwell. When my blood sugar is high, I physically have symptoms. And when it's low, I have symptoms. Yesterday my sugar was low and it wasn't great. Anyway, I'll talk about it. So my blood sugar was high, which is why I went to uni. I was feeling unwell. I tend to get unwell when I'm on these kind of. Yeah. Oh, it's so um, I feel sick, I feel like the room is spinning, I feel like I'm going to collapse, I just feel awful, like I feel physically unwell. When I got told you could be in DKA, I was like, because it's serious, like being diabetic, a lot has changed. Um, it hasn't been an easy, I'm not going to say that I fully accept the diagnosis because I feel like that makes it real and I don't want it to be and I don't even know how many times I've cried. So the reason I got admitted was to bring my sugars down and to investigate whether or not I had a kidney stone, gallbladder stone or any of that. Apparently it's all fine, so we're going with that. But they also kept an eye on me, they monitored my obs, they did obs, they brought my sugar down by fluid medication and that was that. It was a one night, it wasn't even 24 hours, it was overnight and then in the morning I spoke to the diabetic team and I had the scan done on so yeah I'm back on camera hello hi I am an absolute mess welcome so this whole experience was absolutely terrifying can't explain how terrifying it literally I don't know just being told you'd be in DKA you could go into a coma like that's not easy to hate at all you guys have probably seen the other videos that I've done about being diabetic and this whole whole journey it did hit me out of nowhere and I also want to thank anyone who has helped me out the last few weeks because at the minute I don't have any money and I'm not going to sit here and be like oh yeah I've got loads of money I don't I don't have loads of money so anyone who's helped me with my Amazon wish list which by the way if you are interested links down below um honestly even getting the things made me smile because on my help me out list it is things that literally help out with everything I go through and I have all these diabetic ones on there that and I want to thank people for helping me out when I've been at my lowest honestly so yes if you are new please subscribe and if you want to help out the channel or support the channel there is my Amazon wishlist link down below and Patreon and my PayPal anything helped at this point so yeah that's fun I'll see you guys soon I'll film a video later, so you may see me like this again. Bye.